Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talks. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about a comment that I had read um, earlier this evening. Uh, I'm always reading y'all's comments, and I'm looking for uh, pretty much a comment that I can really do a video on and kind of put some good points out there for people to consider. Um, and I really did like this comment. It was basically uh, who makes out during a reset. Um, and we got into a little conversation kind of uh, in the messages about that. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about that comment. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please take a quick minute, hit that thumbs up button for me because it does absolutely help me out. Um, if you hit that, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts, uh, even if you agree or disagree. So the comment kind of went along the lines of who the guy that's going to make out the most is essentially the guy that just took a credit card out and slapped five or ten grand in silver on his credit card, and then all of a sudden they reset the system. Uh, and that's absolutely true, really, because if they do a reset, um, here's the thing. A lot of us know there's a reset coming. They're ha they, they have to reset the money. They've always essentially take the easy roads and instead of paying off the debt they just change the currency they do some sort of a financial reset it's happened time and time again we've talked about it all the different currencies that have been reset over time and i think the u.s dollar will be no different now here's the thing though a lot of people have this belief the dollar is above that we're not never going to reset uh, i can you know we would lose our world reserve status and and absolutely once we default or we do something that jeopardizes people's investment, we just admitted that our currency is not as great as people thought. And here's the thing. Our currency is still pretty well used all over the world. Uh, are there countries that don't like us? Absolutely. Are there countries that don't want their citizens buying the dollar? Absolutely. But are there still going to be people that are trading U.S. dollars on, say, uh, secondary markets, you might call them, um, of a certain color? Um, I'm going to say, I, I, I don't know if I can say what they're called because uh, that's a, I don't know if that's a no-no term. But you guys get the gist. Um, they are trading U.S. dollars. Even if they're banned in a country, people still want them because... People have this belief that the U.S. dollar is above everything and it has to stay afloat no matter what because it's a world reserve currency. A day, I believe, will come where the U.S. dollar will essentially have to do something. Why? Because if they don't, people will have a fit. Um, they, they're paying more and more. Prices on everything is going through the roof and essentially government has to continue to print money and print money and print money in order to either assist other countries um, in their battles or um, just, you know, meet the demand of all of our, I'm going to call it special programs. Um, whatever them special programs are, uh, you upset a lot of people if all of a sudden tomorrow no one's getting their Social Security, no one's getting their retirement, nobody's going to get their uh, whatever the case may be. And so eventually they will have to do some sort of a reset. Now, who's going to make out the most and what will happen when a reset happens? So if a reset happens like years ago, uh, for those of you that don't know what a reset means, a, a full reset could mean literally your cash is now worthless and we are going to reboot the system. And if you have a bunch of money in your bank account, it just went to zero. And if you have a bunch of debt, that could go to zero too. Now that's something that's been heavily debated on will they reset the debt on top of the assets? Um, you know, the first thing, if they did want to do that, then who would complain? So this is a question that I've asked people, individuals before when I talk to them about my opinion of the reset. In order for a reset to happen uh, and not have people essentially burn down the country, you would have to do a reset in a way that people wanted it. 
People would have to be on board with it. They would have to agree with the reset. And if you're sitting on $50,000 in cash and you know that's going to go away, you're probably not going to be too happy about it. But here's what some people don't realize. If your debt goes away too, you could end up being happy. And I'll give you a scenario. You've got $35,000 in the bank right now in cash. You've got a $50,000 loan against your house, maybe. You've got another $20,000 in unsecured debt on credit cards. You're basically living paycheck to paycheck when you factor out taxes, insurance, payments, credit card fees, all the miscellaneous stuff. You are having a hard time making ends meet. When I pose this question to people and I ask them, how would you feel if you went to zero? You lost all your money in the bank and you lost all your debt and everything. At first, they're like, I'd be upset. I just lost $35,000. I said, yes, but you don't owe anything on your house now. Your house is free and clear. It's yours. Who took the loss? Maybe they could stick it to the banks. Um, They've been bailed out enough. And at this point, a full reset, what's the alternative? If they change out the money? Because here's, I'm going to tell you both sides of this coin now in a minute. But All of a sudden, you have a lot of people that would not complain. You know, they start out saying, yeah, they'd be ticked. But then when they realize, wait a minute, my debt just went to 50 cents on the dollar. And now I don't essentially owe anything. I get to start over. That's a pretty good deal for a lot of people. Now they have a reason to go to work. People have a reason to go to work. People have a reason to... um, kind of push forward because now they feel like they're actually above water for the first time in their lifetime. And they don't, they're not upset. Who would be upset? The people that had a ton of money in the bank and they didn't owe nothing. I'll be honest. I don't owe anything. My house is paid off. Um, and essentially I don't owe anybody anything aside from a month to month bill that I might accumulate because it's easier to swipe my card and buy my gas and then just pay the bill when the bill comes in. Um, But there's very few people like that. Those people probably would lose out. Why? Because they don't have anything other than their house. Now, you could make the argument, you still own a house. You're still in a better spot. Yeah, but you have no savings now. So you probably would be upset if you were in that case. Um, But the other thing that uh, the other conversation or the other side of the coin where a lot of stackers um, will talk about is if precious metals all of a sudden started really drastically climbing, because as the dollar is fixing to collapse at this scenario, um, although I believe we're pretty close to that already, uh, you'll see precious metals start going up, in my opinion. Why? Because the people that know what's going on are going to want to put their money in something. And they're going to move to precious metals. They're not going to put it in the stock market because the stock market could tank pretty quick. So they're going to start buying precious metals. As precious metals continues to climb, which we've seen this play out in Venezuela, you actually would have an opportunity to sell some of your precious metals and pay off your house if you owe money on your house or if you have extra debt. Because at a certain point, it could also go where precious metals start climbing And all of a sudden, you wake up one morning and your debt has been transferred to a brand new currency and your old currency has just been devalued at a essentially 10 to 1 ratio, which would really be bad because now your debt is in a new currency, which means you're actually kind of going to owe even more and you will literally be enslaved to the system. Um, a, a position that you'll never get out of. Um, and you'll eventually probably default on your debt. Can you imagine uh, if the currency got watered down from 10 to now it's one, but yet you still owe $100,000 on your house? I mean, now you actually, that would make it a million dollars in your house because now money would be harder to come by. Now they might make the argument, yeah, but all jobs will be paid in new currency. So as long as you're working, but if you have a a loan against your house or you have a lot of debt, um, hopefully you're working. If not, you definitely will have to um, because it will be a whole new game plan. 
You know, this is something a lot of people wonder because I, I talk to people that some of them are so far underwater in debt that they don't know. And the idea of a reset to them sounds appealing. They definitely wouldn't be protesting it. Um, I'll be honest with you, uh, when they wanted to do student forgiveness, I personally was against that. It was a lot of money um, that we were going to fund and forgive, and some of us paid, and and some of us would get it for free. You know, I was against that. However, I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. I mean, if my son had a bunch of school loan debt, or I had a bunch of school loan debt, then I'd say, well, at least we make out of it. You know, so the, the question is, your anger is going to come from the people that lose out of the deal. So if you make the population that gains from the deal bigger than the population that lose out of the deal, essentially it could go down that way. Uh, and it would be in their best interest for it to go down that way. Uh, I believe they're already looking for a way to reset the currency and start over. But I also believe they're like a person with a credit card. Just before the credit card goes bankrupt, you want to use it as much as you can because you want to gain as much as you can out of it. Well, the government's no different in my opinion. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video. Uh, I really hope everybody enjoyed this. I hope everybody took a quick minute to hit the thumbs up button because it really does help me out. And I hope you're stacking because this could be the year that opportunities are huge in gold and silver. I'm going to probably do a video in the next day or two about the um, are we going to see a pullback or not because a lot of people are talking about that subject. And so don't miss that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on how you think stuff's going to play out. So a lot, lot can happen. Take care everybody and y'all have a great day and a great rest of your week. Back to work today. Actually it's Tuesday. So take care everybody. Bye-bye.